Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful master rider of the plains. Led well, the I think it justice. really frustrated Jay a lot to be Tonto to everybody and uh, trying to get other jobs, uh, uh, other producers. Oh, yeah, he's great. He's Tonto. Well, you know, so he's Tonto, but he's a good actor, too. He could do other things. You, you might remember, and I don't mean to be too facetious, but you might remember that the name of the show was The Lone Ranger. It was not Tonto and Masked Friend. He just wasn't a real Indian to me, you know, and that because he was Tonto. And it just didn't connect to my life at all. When we saw Jay, even though it was, a lot of people said it was a stereotypical performance. That dangerous Kimisabe. That was the first time that we'd really seen one of our community. And he had such great strength and dignity that even with this portrayal that they, that they gave him to do, it still would shine through. In the role of Tonto, Jay Silverheels became the most recognized native actor in film and television. The Lone Ranger was the most popular Western series on television in the early 1950s. It was a program that captured the spirit of innocent post-war idealism. Because I think kids like to have a very specific sense of what's right and what's wrong. And The Lone Ranger, there was never any question. The Lone Ranger and Tonto were good. The people, the outlaws they were fighting were bad. Silver, the Lone Ranger.